Hi everyone, Leanne Pilkington and Tim McGibbon here from REINSW with our member update for April the 2nd. Yes, it is only April the 2nd. All right, Tim, we had a meeting with Fair Trading um, earlier today. Do you want to just give a bit of an update on, um, on what came out of that meeting? Yeah, um, not a lot. Um, so Fair Trading say they are working very hard on this topic and I'm sure they are. However, um, they weren't able to tell us anything other than that the Premier is meeting with the National uh, Cabinet tomorrow and we're hopeful that something will come out of that. But Specifically, have, around, specifically around how they're planning on handling rent relief, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, well the indication was that, yes, that's at least on their agenda. Yeah. Um, but it's a bit, it's, it is a bit strange because Tasmania has all this sorted out and it's, uh, it is functioning down there. Um, I don't think I like much of it, the way it works down there, but nonetheless, they, uh, they do have a system and it's up and running. Yeah, so okay. uh, we are waiting, Leanne, that's where we're at. Yeah, that was pretty much the, um, the message, although it was good to communicate with Fair Trading and I can imagine they do have an awful lot on their plate because I know we do, so yeah. but we will certainly be um, sharing with members just as soon as we hear anything, but we're not even sure that the final um, system was, is going to be clarified for us on... Um, um, at tomorrow's meeting, but we'll time will tell. Um, you I, think, did... I think we did. In, I think we did impress on them, though, um, very clearly that there is a need to expedite this because there's an enormous amount of confusion oh. out there amongst okay. tenants, um, just not knowing what to, you know, not knowing what to do next. Yeah, totally. Totally. Um, and you, you mentioned Tasmania there. Uh, I, I was interested in the meeting that we had with the, um, the institutes from around the country earlier today to hear about what's happening with properties that are um, settling over the next couple of weeks and they can't get the tenants out. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, apparently that is the case. I think, again, these things are coming through so fast that we're, um, we're having a lot of trouble trying to... Uh, uh, work out what it actually means right throughout the ecosystem. So, so they're looking at things in um, in the tenancy world, saying, "Yes, I fixed that," but haven't really explored the problems that they've caused with that solution. And and the one that you've highlighted, I think, is a classic. Now, I, I can't speak to the jurisdiction in um, in Tasmania, but here in New South Wales, if the purchaser um, uh, at settlement says I want vacant possession of the property because they have an ambition of moving in and the vendor can't give them vacant possession that's going to cause all kinds of troubles and, and the deals may fall over um, so I don't know that's uh, that's one that we're going to have to wait and see when it comes out so it's an yeah. interesting space yeah it sure is now, Tim, I know you are issuing a press release um, relating to land tax tomorrow. Can you tell me what that's about? Yeah, so, so uh, ScoMo said to us all very clearly that we all had to shoulder some of the, some of the pain. We all had to do our, our bit. Um, but we've seen precious little, really, from, from government in, in New South Wales about what they were going to do. So I think there's a great opportunity for the state government to recognise the impost that uh, land tax has on uh, on property has on has on the rental market, um, and particularly I think in the um, in the commercial side of things um, that that is regularly passed on to the tenants, etc. So taking that away from from the tenants is going to take away some of the problems, and for that matter, taking it away from the landlord. So mm. we're we're going to argue that case uh, in the media uh, tomorrow, and, and we'll see. Uh, We'll see what interest that is. You'd have to say, though, Leanne, in the media right now, this whole this whole environment is consuming them. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it is uh, it is extremely interesting what's happening. Yeah, I, I I don't know about you, but I've done a number of media interviews um, today, and in fact, every day this week. So, and I know you're pretty much the same. So, yeah, it's um it's overwhelming for everybody. Um, I know I've been getting a lot of calls um, in the commercial space. There's a lot of, um, obviously, there's lots of issues in resi, um, but certainly our commercial um, tenants and landlords are really feeling the pinch as well. Um, I understand you've got some comments in that space as well. Yeah, well, we've, uh, we've put together a couple, of, uh, a couple of documents to help people in that space. So, so one of the documents is is for the property manager, both commercial and uh, in the resi space, is to be able to collect some data from 
from the tenant. So somebody comes along and says, I want a rent reduction, that's great. But what we're, what we're seeking to do is to assist the property manager to be able to gather some information so that they can then have a meaningful discussion uh, with their landlord to, to be able to say to the landlord, this is the circumstances of, uh, of our tenant, be it resi or, uh, or commercial. The other thing we've done, and this would be largely targeted, I would have thought towards the, uh, uh, to the residential tenant, is, is setting out all of the um, uh, websites where that they can go and access help. Um, so rather than, um, rather than leaving it up to the tenant to try and find out where the assistance is, we're going to empower the property manager with a document that they can then give to the uh, tenant and say there, there is help available to you and this is, uh, this is where you can access it. So some sort of assistance in that space as well. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, and I know the team at REI have been working really hard on the website. So there's new content coming up on the website every single day. It's all been um, categorised, so it makes it really, really easy for our members to find what they're looking for. We're not going to say it's going to win any design prizes uh, for websites right now because it's really about speed, getting just getting all that info up at just as fast as we can. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to um, share with members before we sign off? Bearing in mind, we have got a, a webinar with yourself, Steve Fisher and Lisa Jemison tomorrow morning at 10.30. Yeah, I can't think of anything at, at this time, um, but okay. no doubt um, we'll have an opportunity tomorrow to, to pick up on anything that we've missed if, yep. uh, yeah, when we have our uh, catch up for the day. But, but Leanne, I can promise you this, uh, that things are moving that quickly um, in, in this space everywhere that uh, I'm sure we'll have plenty to talk about going forward. I uh, have no doubt about that. And if any of the members have got any questions that we can answer for you on the webinar tomorrow, please just email them through to REI or to myself or Tim. We'd be more than happy to help and we will look forward to chatting to you tomorrow. Bye.